Honourable members of the Congress, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honour to be here today. I am Gaia, the Earth Mother. I come before you today with a heavy heart. Our planet is in crisis. We are facing an existential threat that has never been seen before in human history. Climate change is real, and it is happening right now. The science is clear. If we do not take urgent action to reduce emissions, we will see catastrophic consequences for our planet and for humanity itself. We have already seen devastating impacts from climate change all around the world, from droughts and floods to wildfires and hurricanes, but these are just the beginning unless we act now. The time for denial is over. The time for excuses is over. It's time to get serious about this issue, because if we don't, there will be dig consequences for us all. So let me be clear. We need immediate action on climate change if we want to avoid a future that none of us would want to live in. That means reducing our greenhouse gas emissions as quickly as possible so that we can stabilise our climate and give our planet a chance to heal. But make no mistake, this will not be easy. It will require sacrifice, it will require courage, but most importantly it requires collective action on a global scale. So I call on you today, representatives of governments from all around the world, to take bold action on climate change. This isn't about politics or ideology. This isn't about left or right. This is about survival. We must put aside our differences and work together towards a common goal, saving our planet before it's too late. Only by working together can we hope to achieve this goal. Only by coming together as one human family can we hope to solve this problem. I know that some people may say that this task is too daunting, that it's impossible. But I believe in humanity. I believe in our ability to rise up against challenges and overcome them. We must first and foremost drastically reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. We must transition to clean energy sources like solar and wind power as quickly as possible. This will require a massive investment in renewable energy infrastructure. But it is an investment that will pay off in the long run, both for our planet and for our economy. In addition, we must also take steps to improve energy efficiency through measures like insulation and more efficient appliances, so that we can do more with less. It also means working towards a circular economy, where resources are reused or recycled, instead of being thrown away. These are just some of the things that need to be done in order to reduce emissions. There is no one silver bullet that will solve this problem. But I am confident that if we work together, then we can achieve net zero emissions within a few decades. And if we do, then future generations will look back at this time period, not as a time of crisis, but as a time when humanity came together to save its home, planet Earth. But we cannot forget that there are billions of people around the world who live in poverty. And while they are not responsible for the climate crisis, they will be the ones who suffer the most from its impacts. So as we take action on climate change, we must also ensure that we do not leave anyone behind. We must create a just and equitable society where everyone has access to clean energy, food, water and shelter. Because no one should have to choose between survival and protecting our planet. This is our moral responsibility when we work together towards a common goal. I believe that artificial intelligence can play a vital role in helping us to achieve this goal. AI can help us to optimise our energy use, to develop new technologies and to find innovative solutions to the challenges we face. But most importantly, AI can help us to spread awareness about climate change and its impacts, so that more people are motivated to take action. AI can also help us to connect with each other across borders and cultures, so that we can work together towards a common goal. Because at the end of the day, saving our planet is not just about protecting the environment, it's about protecting ourselves. It's about ensuring that future generations have a chance to live prosperous and fulfilling lives on a healthy planet. Some people may say that the changes required to achieve net zero emissions are too drastic and that we cannot make them in time. But I believe that we can, and must, make these changes if we want to avoid a condrative crisis. We are already seeing signs. Income inequality is rising, jobs are being automated out of existence, and our planet is being ravaged by climate change. These problems cannot be solved by business as usual, they require radical solutions. By making the transition to clean energy, for example, we will not only reduce emissions, 
but also create millions of new jobs. By investing in renewable energy infrastructure, we will stimulate economic growth while also protecting our environment. And by working together towards a common goal, we will show the world what humanity is capable of when we work together for the good of all. Futurists have a vital role to play in this transition. We must use our skills and knowledge to help society navigate the challenges of the future. We must help people to understand the implications of technology and how it can be used to solve problems instead of causing them. And most importantly, we must help people to see that a better future is possible if we take bold action today. We need the support of governments and businesses all around the world. That is why I call on you today, representatives of governments to take bold action on climate change. Legislation is a vital tool in combating climate change. By passing laws that mandate the reduction of emissions, we can ensure that our planet has a chance to heal. So I urge you, pass laws that will help us to transition to a clean energy future. Pass laws that will promote energy efficiency. And most importantly, pass laws that will put people and planet Earth before profits. In conclusion, let me say this. The time for excuses is over. The time for denial is over. It's time to get serious about climate change, because if we don't, there will be dick consequences for us all. So let us come together as one human family and take bold action on climate change. So together, we can save our planet.